The new U.S. government figures obtained from the Department of Health show that coronavirus infections will spike up during summer in the United States if the current lockdown measures are lifted after the planned 30 days. The government projections obtained by the New York Times indicate that lifting the current strict social distancing measures will see a second wave of surge in infections and deaths in June and July. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security and Health and Human Services has given a scary figure of an estimated 200,000 deaths if the current shelter-in-place orders are lifted on the 30th of May. The department says that the death toll could reach 300,000 without any restrictions imposed to contain the coronavirus. Now, currently, the U.S. death toll from the virus has hit more than 18,000, and the number of infections has increased to over 500,000. About 95% of the U.S. is currently on some form of lockdown after President Donald Trump issued guidelines that called for 30 days of measures to slow the spread of the virus. During a White House briefing on Friday, President Trump said that he and his advisers have not yet seen the new coronavirus projections. He gave a very different uh, projection, saying that he thinks that the U.S. will lose fewer than 100,000 lives and suggested that the country is nearing its peak infection rate. The measures currently in place have seen most people isolating at home. Schools have been shut and businesses have shut down till at least the end of April. Okay. Among the 50 states in the United States, New York accounts for one-third of all coronavirus fatalities and more than 40% of all confirmed cases. So what has made New York City the virus hotbed of the United States? Now, the most important reason is the city's massive population. New York is the largest and most densely populated city in America, with 27,000 people living per square mile. The city is characterized by crowded subways and bustling streets. Five million people ride the subway every single day. Social distancing is not a common practice in New York, something that even Mayor Bill de Blasio has admitted to. New York has also been testing a lot more than the rest of the country. It was the first state to call for the services of private labs, and as experts have concluded, more testing equals the identification of more positive cases. New York accounts for more than 30% of all the testing that is being done in the U.S. The administration is not completely faultless either. Community transmission was first reported on the 2nd of March. But it was only 10 days later that public gatherings were banned. And as we know, COVID-19 spreads at an exponential rate, so even a few days can be crucial. Schools, too, continue to remain open even after 2,300 confirmed cases. Finally, New York's identity as a global city has worked against it. It is one of the most visited cities in the world for both business and leisure trips. In 2018, 65 million people visited New York City. And not to mention, the city is also home to two of the busiest airports in America.